Welcome, 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 beautiful Paris Saint Germain family. It's your boy PSG and here. We're gonna discuss La Mia Mal, La Mia Dog Mal to Paris Saint Germain. 200 million is the price tag that's being pushed around. Let's actually take a look at the disgusting reports. So, there are three main reports I want to look at. Here's the first one Breaking PSG want to sign La Mia Mal as a priority this summer to replace Kylian Mbappe. They're ready to offer 200 million to FC Barcelona for him. So, Kylian Mbappé, the Champions League top goal scorer this season, is supposedly going to be replaced by a player that hasn't scored a single goal in, what, eight Champions League games this season? Do you see the disgustingness in these reports? They want to use Kylian Mbappé's name. They want to use Paris Saint-Germain and Lamine Yamal to conk up a report that will get a lot of clicks. Lamine Yamal. <laughs> Look, Lamia Yamal is one of the most talented players across Europe's South Five Leagues. Being barely 16, 17 years of age and performing like this can only tell you in four or five years how great, how excellent of a player he is. But we gotta be honest, at the moment, in today's world, in 2024, the 24th of April, Lamin Dogmal is nowhere close to being one of the best players in the world. So first of all, let's remove this replace Kylian Mbappé because it's absolutely disgusting, absolutely filthy. I want to puke, I want to spit. It's disgusting. Stop this. There's actually nobody that can replace Kylian Mbappé. Not to just talk about Lamy Yamal. And second of all, this fucking 200 million. Like, it's a made-up number from the Spanish media and everybody's going at it now. I don't understand it. It's disgusting. Paris Saint-Germain are not going to replace Kylian Mbappé with Lami Yamal and have not been thinking about a 200 million price tag. Is there interest from PSG to Barca? 100%. Is there interest from PSG to Lami Yamal? 100%. All top clubs in Europe are monitoring Lamin Yamal's situation with him only having two years left on his contract. Second of all, we gotta look at this report. Behind the scenes, PSG inquired about signing Lamin Yamal. However, Barca are clear that Yamal will be the face of the club's present and future project, Fabrizio Romano. Once again, this is a disgusting, disgusting, filthy mouthpiece movement from Fabrizio Romano. Laporta calls him, tells him, say this, Fabrizio say it. This is not news. This is not reports. This is a mouthpiece mouthpiece propaganda agenda from FC Barcelona and Juan Laporta. He usually does this with Gerard Romero, Gerard Moreno, whatever his name is, but nobody cares about him. So now he pays up the money to call Fabrizio Romano and say this shit. Have PSG inquired about Lamy Yamal? I don't think so. I do think there's quite a lot of interest in Lamy Yamal from Paris Saint-Germain, but inquiring about him and them saying he's the face of the club and all of that, that's bullshit. That's disgustingly bullshit. And now let's come to the third report, which is a build-up, an even more disgusting report than this one that we just take a look at. Breaking, PSG offering 200 million euros FC Barcelona for Lamy Yamal, but the club has rejected the offer. So you see the delusion? In the beginning, it's interest. They want to replace him with Kylian Mbappé. Then they jump to the BS. He's, their PSG have inquired about him and Barca have said no. And then this is the most disgusting BS. Paris Saint-Germain offering 200 million euros now when we're not even thinking about transfers we're not thinking about any of that and i also do think there's a small chance in the body sentiment board that they still for some reason have some faith of extending Kylian mbappe this that we have sent a 200 million bid in the middle of april in what, probably our most legendary champions league treble all-round season ever that we're gonna spend 200 million euros this early before the summer transfer even begins Olamin Dogmal is absolutely filthy. These Spanish reporters, La Porta, all of this shit. Look, we like Yamal. We would maybe want him at PSG. But this 200 million. That means Yam Lamin Yamal will become the second most expensive player in the world. We bought Kylian Mbappé after he scored, I think, like... Seven goals in the Champions League, back-to-back -back goals versus City, back-to-back -back goals versus Dortmund, scored away uh, against Juventus, who so hadn't conceded goals in the knockout stages. We bought him for like 140 plus 40 million in bonuses, 180 million. Obviously, I know with inflation and everything. But I mean, I got mad. I get fucking mad. But you know what? This is Spanish reporters. I remember the Messi transfer saga. I remember the Neymar Jr. transfer saga. I mean, we're still in the Kylian Mbappé transfer saga. It's disgusting. It's absolutely filthy. It's absolutely disgusting. Lamina Mal is a, is a great player. Will become a great player of this generation. Uh, but that we're going to spend 200 million this early on him. 
when he has two years left on his contract and to supposedly replace Kylian Mbappe is absolute bullshit. There you got it. That's the answer. Have Paris Saint-Germain made the 200 million bid? No. Have PSG prepared 200 million to offer to Barca? No. Is there interest from PSG to Lamy Yamal? 100%. Have PSG inquired about Lamy Yamal? I don't think so, but it could be true. But because of all the lies that I've been spewing, I obviously know that's a lie. So that's been it from your boy PSG. Let me know in the comments down below. How much do you hate the Spanish media? And how big of a dog is Lamy Yamal? You know what? Actually, Lamy Yamal doesn't even deserve hatred here it's all on the spanish media and the fat pig juan laporta and the money grubbing jew fabrizio dogmano that's been it from your boy PSG. and as usual allez 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 paris